dear contest chair, parents, toastmasters, respected judges, and fellow cavaliers. Good evening. Good evening. Back in my hometown in Sri Lanka, there's a man who is a clever sculptor. A bag of cement, rubble, and water are enough for him to carve a marvelous statue into perfection. Just like this. However, he lives in utter poverty in a hut. He struggles to find a living. He is talented, but lives a hopeless life. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs were two of the world's most successful entrepreneurs who revolutionized our ways of living. But they were high school dropouts. Peter Drucker once said, talent is not enough. Intelligence, imagination, and knowledge are essential resources, but only effectiveness converts them into results. If talent were enough, then the most effective and influenced people would be the most talented ones. But that is not the case. Here are two facts. More than 50% of the world's millionaires never finish college. 75% of US presidents were high school dropouts. So dear friends, clearly talent isn't everything. Talent is a God's given gift. So we should celebrate that, shouldn't we? Yes. 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 We should appreciate their great giftedness. We should, we should recognize that talented people also contribute to the well-being of their society. But what we should understand is that talent is just the starting point. Normalist Charles Wilson says, no matter the size of the bottle, the cream always rises to the top. I remember when I was five. I remember when I was five. I won a musical talent contest for an instrumental that I played on my accordion. My parents and friends were very happy, and everyone told me that I was talented in music. But I didn't stop there. I kept on practicing and practicing and learning more about playing the keyboard. I usually practice for about 30 minutes a day. Now, my friends, let us listen to a piece of a song that I have practiced. I didn't practice that piece, I wouldn't have done it well enough today. My parents encouraged me to obtain additional training in keyboard and vocals from skilled people. So dear friends, you you've got to keep working hard on your talent. Talented people will always have a head start over the others on their talent. However, overconfidence prevents them from practicing their talent and one day they will lose it. You have wings, uh, it's just like having wings but not attempting to fly. Author Stephen King quoted, talent 
is cheaper than table salt. What separates the talented individual from a successful one is a lot of hard work. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Over to you, Contest Chair.